Hello and welcome to Agile Tech Channel. My name is Christian Drieling. I am Senior Systems Engineer at Agile Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how to deploy a custom partition. What are we going to see in this video? First, we will upload the binary files to our EMS web server. Next step is to import the profile for the custom partition. And as last step, we will deploy the custom partition to our thin clients. If you get a custom partition, for example, from our Agile pre-sale support, then you will get probably a zip file. So I already extracted the zip file. Let's take a look to the structure. There is first a target directory where the binary files and an information file is included. And also in IGIL profiles, we will find a profile that we have to import to our UMS. So extract the zip file, and then we can start with our management server. First thing that we have to do is to upload the binary files. You can create a new directory, for example, and what I will do is I will do this in my normal root directory from my web server, and we have to upload the tarbz2 file first, and then, of course, we have to upload the information file, just a normal upload to our web server. It will be put to our UMS file transfer folder. And if we have this, then our clients will be able to download these files from our web server. We do not have to specify any access rights or something like this. It's fine at this part. Uh, next step is to import the profile that we delivered with our package. So let's go to Chrome. In this video, I will deploy a Google Chrome browser. And here we have the profiles.zip and just import it to our UMass. And if we open the profile, we have to specify some server settings, of course. So in custom partition download, double click this entry and then replace everything in the brackets with the information of your server. So in my case, it's IGIL RM server. If you have this DNS entry, you can work with this. We are working here with our HTTP server. You also, of course, can work with HTTPS. I didn't create a subfolder, so I will delete this in the past, UMS file transfer, and then the direct link to the information file. Then we have to specify username and password for the download. Um, if you took a look to the video for administrative accounts, then you know that it's possible to create a download user for this. That's all we have to do in the profile. And now we can deploy the profile to our thin client and say, okay, please do it now. Let's take a look to our thin client. Now he's creating a partition, downloading the binary files from our web server, extracting it, running the installation script, and then on the desktop, there should be a new icon that's named Google Chrome. So you see it's mounted. And here we have our Google Chrome, for example. And it's working. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our pre-sale support or take a look to IGL eDocs. Have a nice day.